Deep inside each footy club is the story of how it came to be. Team Builders goes behind the scenes with those who made it all happen to give insight into the creation of some of Australia's biggest football franchises. With Tasmania in the early stages of building a standalone club, after finally being granted a license to enter the AFL in 2028, the first new club to enter the national competition in 16 years, team builders will look back on all the startup teams that joined the then VFL as it expanded beyond the confines of Victoria. From South Melbourne's move to Sydney in 1982, to the Eagles and Bears in 1987, through to Gold Coast and GWS in 2011 and 2012 respectively, we'll talk to inaugural CEOs, presidents, coaches and star players to get an inside look into how these AFL teams were built from scratch. We were insolvent, there's, there's no question about that. And we, lucky the ACCC wasn't about in those days, we would have been in real strife, I think, trading while we were insolvent. There were no priority draft picks, there were no concessions, you know, they virtually took the $4 million and ran and, and we were left to our own devices. Way of life that Scase brought into the place that you just couldn't excise out of the joint. We didn't really have a marquee player like that. We had Izzy Folau, which I think confused a bit of the community to be like, is he still a rugby player or what's he doing? At least it created a lot of discussion. What it enabled us to do is to say to some South Australian players, don't go in the 1995 draft, because we'll pick you up in the 1996 draft. That day, Graham Moss, ex and champion, Brownlow medalist, walking out of Windy Hill getting spat on by the Essendon supporters. This is AFL Team Builders.